Hello guys and welcome in for another video, this time for Death Motel. For some reason this menu has no music so I'm scared. But uh, this is a game that I saw on PS5. I didn't see it on Steam. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I didn't really look into it all too much. But I saw it on PS5 for $1.99. And I figured, why not? Let's try it. So here we go. I'm Joe Salinger, a dedicated paranormal investigator. I couldn't resist delving into the uh, rumors circulating about the ghostly sightings of Christmas Hotel. The unsettling news revolves around a chilling incident from several months ago. Oh my god. Uh, in response, management, uh, during the response, uh, in uh, capture undeniable proof of the spectacle, spectral entities on video camera. Oh god. They had a continue button. Okay, let's rewind. In response, the management abruptly shut down the motel, citing renovations as a cover due to a uh, psychopath brutally murdering two teenagers. During the supposed renovations, a wave of eerie occurrences unfolded. Construction workers reported encountering apparitions, and some even suffered severe mental distress, compelling them to abandon their work at the site. The enigma shrouding Crimson Motel piqued my curiosity. It's precisely the kind of mystery I thrive on. Armed with my investigative pot prowess, I am determined to gather concrete evidence within the hotel's haunting confines. Backed by my comprehensive computer setup in the van, I will maliciously process all the information I collect. My ultimate goal is to capture undeniable proof of these spectral entities on video camera. If I manage to record any ghostly apparitions, that would be my invaluable contribution to unraveling the secrets veiled within the Crimson Motel. Alright, we here. Wait, can I look in the... You're, you're just gonna leave these doors open? Alright. Wow. What a setup. It's so comprehensive. Alright, let's go in. We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave these back doors open? You know, your comprehensive setup's gonna get stolen if you just leave the back doors open like that. Just saying! Just saying! Hello? Going in. No, we're not. Never mind. I'm a big fat liar. We're going up. Uh, I can't see anything. So I'm gonna go though. Don't murder me. Whoa. I don't know where he's like flying. Is there a sprint button that I'm not aware of? Right. What about here? Are you going in here? No? Be heading round back. I'm willing to go anywhere, you know? Can you know you can't you can't be too scared as a as a Investigator, you know, you gotta you gotta really push for the paranormal. You gotta really bring it out. I have a lot of questions if it's around back. Oh god. Hello. Do we have a flashlight? What? Sometimes he just takes off sprinting. He's just like I am the wind. Say, all right, bro. All right, don't know. Am I supposed? Was I supposed to? Was I supposed to find that apartment so soon? There's nothing in there. I don't have a flashlight, so not much I can do with that. I really liked him more when he was sprinting, because he's either sprinting for like two seconds or moving at a glacial pace. What's going on over here? Wait, I have a light? Wait, what? Man, I walked into that room over there and there was no fucking light. When did I get a flashlight? Can I go back to that other room? Alright, we're going back to that other room. I'll see you there. Alright, we were we moved at a ridiculous pace, but we're here. Happy that we got this flashlight now. Whoa, see how he takes off there? Or just takes off. Alright, what's going on in here? 
What do we got? Garrett, keep this note. I have stashed the videotape you mentioned in my briefcase. Added a lock. Code is 4476. I don't want to believe all this nonsense our worker friends are telling about how the place is haunted, but I guess we are out of options here. Why and how? I have few theories. We can discuss. Call me ASAP. We can record this all place and sell the tapes to national TV shows. We could be rich. There you go. Hey, hey, Ode to Garrett. Fuck him. All right. All I know is I was just searching things. I think this... Yes, sir. Garrett, that you? I think this is an easy plat uh, based on what I've seen. I'm... I mean, if I get the plat, I get it. I'm not exactly shooting for the plat. I don't really care. But um, I've heard that this is uh, an easy plat. Like I said, we'll see if we get it. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not pushing for it. What do you want, Garrett? Huh? You want to fucking go, bro? We either throw down right now or you shut up. Enough of this ghost standing there in the doorway and then you walk over to him and they walk away. Why don't we throw down, huh? At least some of them have the common decency to not be little bitches. Hi. What, what we got going on in here? Oh, front desk. Oh, this is a nice front desk area. Look at that. What is that? Crimson Motel, your getaway. Looks like this a card can open all the doors of the hotel rooms. Oh, that's fucking convenient as fuck. Inviting us in. Gotta love it. I should scan this and email it to the local network ASAP. I can use my desk computer in my van for this task. My open van where anybody can get in there and be a paranormal investigator by stealing all my shit. This is a weird place for the entrance. It's like around the side in a very inconspicuous location. That's not what I that's not where I would put it. All right. There's like a eh. We'll email in a second. First, we got to glacier our way upstairs cuz I think this is the the wait, where are we at? Oh, we are all front. Sorry. I, I was going to go to the back because I thought that that one, that one apartment in the back, that one motel in the back, he hadn't uh, gone to. And there's only one back there, I think. Well, with the light. I could be wrong. You know what? I'm just, uh, you know, I can go into every room. We could test that theory of every room. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Emailing it, emailing it. Yes, yeah, didn't want to renovate this motel anymore. Nope. Nope. Oh. A documents. Note the gear company letter. Miss dear, dear Mister Becking, we regret to inform you that we no longer provide any construction and renovation services at the Crimson Motel. Please allow me to explain in the simple terms. I can't find any workers, either external or from our company resources who wants to continue to work at your premises. I don't believe in ghost stories or any similar urban myths, but I have lost more than a dozen workers since we took this job. They simply refuse to conduct any, any work related tasks at your location. Hope you'll understand you can dispose all of our equipment at your will. Out here writing letters like me with all kinds of typos and shit. Typos, wrong words, right up my alley. Alright, we can go into all of these now. I don't know if we can just go into the ones with the lights, or we can... Stop taking off running, either spread like that all the time, or leave me alone. Okay. What is that, spider? No. Just a grody-ass thing. Hello, hello. What's we got? We got nothing. What am I standing on? Garbage. Can wait for things to pop up in the window and go boo. 
Very awkward. Oh, there is a sprint button. Look at us go. Look at us go. We're so we're so smart. I always knew that. All right. It's it's L it's L one for those wondering what the sprint button is. But he does randomly take off sprinting on his own for whatever reason. I don't know what triggers that. Look at him go. I didn't. I, and I'm not holding any. I'm not holding that sprint button. All right. One room at a time. Hello? But him just randomly taking off running is a little, uh, it does throw me off a little bit. Hello? Oh. Look at that. A Polaroid photo of a girl. Probably one of the guests at this motel. She looks like she's currently a ghost in this picture. I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it looks like we already got evidence of a ghost. Uh, we can crack the contents. I should. My desktop computer and my van can handle this. What? You got beef, bro? Alright, so it's not that safe code that we found earlier. Alright. Now we're gonna crack into phones. Like a weirdo. What is that scratching noise? All right, chit chat. Two teens uh, tweeting about ghosts. See, it looks like you just find things, um, and as you find things, you get those trophies. All right, let's see. Let's see those chat logs. Lily, Emma, you won't believe this. This motel is like super duper crazy right now. The lights are going blinky blinky, and I hear like spooky whispers everywhere. Eek! Oh my god, Lily, you're such a scaredy cat. Maybe the ghosts just want to be friends, you know, like Casper. Casper? More like Crispy the ghost. I'm not kidding, Emma. The whispers said my name, and then the door slammed shut like BAM! It's not normal, I swear. Uh, Crispy the ghost, really? Lily, you crack me up. Maybe it's just the wind or the motel's way of saying, Welcome, Lily. No, Emma, it's not wind. The air feels all icy, and I can't stop shivering. I'm hiding under the covers. But what if the ghosty finds me? Wah! Oh, poor Lily. I don't... Don't worry. If the ghosty shows up, just challenge it to a dance-off. Show your moves, and maybe it'll leave. Dance-off? You're nuts, Emma. But maybe... Do ghosts like twerking? Or the cha-cha? If it saves me, I'll dance the Macarena, I swear. <laughs> Lily, you're a... You're... Haha, <laughs> Lily, you're a riot. If the ghosty has any sense, it'll run away from your epic dance skills. Just keep grooving and you'll be fine. Thanks, Emma. Your silliness is making me feel a bit better. But seriously, I'm so scared I might turn into a scaredy potato and never leave this bed again. Scaredy potato? I love it. Don't worry, Lily. If the ghosty dares to bother you, I'll come over with my ghost-busting gear, a pillow, and a flashlight. We'll show that ghost who's boss. Haha, <laughs> you're the best, Emma. Thanks for being my ghost-busting buddy. Even from afar, I'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed I survived the night. Love ya. Love you too, Lily. Text me if the ghosty gets too brave. But remember, you're braver. Sweet dreams and ghost-free vibes coming your way. Oh, that Lily. I said with a smile. Alright. You can open every room. Now, I don't know if every room is going to have stuff in it. Ooh. Oh, paper barely readable. Perhaps I should use my scanner next in the van. All right. Okay. Let's collect more than one thing before we go back to the van. Just so we're not constantly running back and forth. Oh. That TV's on. We're coming in. Hello? The bunny man? Okay, we so we watched the movie. I'm pretty sure that was the bunny man. Good for him. Alright. I'm pretty sure if we go into like every room and search everything, we'll probably get the plat. I know it's kind of tedious. 
but it's better than uh, you know. I mean, come on. I mean, we gotta so we gotta see everything. Luckily, there's only so many. There's only so many rooms. I mean, it seems tedious, but there's only so many rooms, you know. And I, I feel like maybe the the lit up ones are like the main ones. You can still go to all the other ones for like lore bits and stuff like that, would be my guess. So I'm gonna go under the, uh, I'm under the impression that the one lady in the photo is maybe Lily. Uh, that being said, Lily looks like she was punched in the face multiple times and probably should have called the police. Okay, let me make sure I went into all these rooms. I don't know if I did. God damn it. I thought... Oh! Look at him! That sound of pissing me off. Alright, we're done on this side. At least on the top floor. That better be a ghost making that sound, otherwise it's just annoying. This room I've not been in? We in the woods? Did the ghost just like... They're like, alright guys, we gotta get this movie done. This guy's coming. It almost feels like maybe these ghosts are filmmakers. Then we gotta go around back, probably... What's that? A flash disk. A dix? A flash disk. Alright. Let's go to the van really quick to look at the stuff we do have on this side. And then we can head around back. Hopefully we didn't miss any doors on the front area. I don't know why I didn't put this on the computer to begin with. Susan's? Oh, it was Susan. Lily, wait, was Lily the person that was... Lily must have been someone else. Alright, blood-covered thing. Susan's note. Alright. And then the flash disc. Journalist note, there's a trophy for everything. We're just cooking through the trophies here. Alright, documents. Uh, Lisa, my phone is dead. You have to call my uncle, Edgar, now. He will explain everything. I'm stashing this note for you here because I can't get out of my room. That damn bastard locked me in. Listen, this is serious. You have to call Edgar right away and tell him to come over. Your friend, Susan. Is Susan, is Susan and Lily were the ones texting back and forth, so it seems like Lily... Was Lily not... Were they texting back and forth from different rooms? Or was Lily straight up not there? And if Lily was straight up not there, how would she even have found this letter? That's my question. If I compare the handwriting on the back of this photo to other notes around, I can easily find out who this girl is. Well, it's Susan, because I got the trophy. Uh, in journal. Mysteries of Crimson Motel Skeptical Journalist Spooked During Two Nights Stay Written by Evan Reynolds for Midwest Tribune Renowned Skeptical is the encounter unexplainable events at the hotel. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This is a lot of reading. Here, I'll go slow. Well, I was going to go slow, but the thing, the thing, like, the thing doesn't have a slow setting. There. If you guys can read fast, I hope you read fast. All right. You could probably pause it if you really wanted to read a book. Let's go around back. You really need to stop taking off running like that. It's really annoying. Considering there is a sprint button now that I found that out. It's really weird, even more weird, that you just randomly take off running. When I'm not even holding the sprint button. So I'm gonna need you to calm down. Wait, what was that? There was an X. Is it this? What the f fuck is that? No, can I, can I use this for something? No? Alright. 
we were over a case and there's a power tool in there we can't even use. I thought we were onto something. Right? Wait. Okay, so it looks like there's maybe a key that goes in there or something that opens it. All right, we'll keep an eye out for that. What room is this? 302. 302. Everybody remember. Oh, screwdriver. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme! Come on, bro! Why even let me open it and pick it up? I can use a screwdriver so many things. We should just go to that light room. Because with my luck, I'm going to go to all these fucking rooms. And then the light room's going to have what we need. And I'm going to be like, well, now I got to go through every door one by one again. Hello? Okay, so this was that combination. Is it four, four... Seven, six. And right. Picked up a VHS tape? Uh, do I just play it in? Garrett, buddy! Come on! Have some respect. All right. Oh, a, a key? I'll take that. Did that open the briefcases? It almost looked like there was, like, red on it, but... <clears throat> that don't matter, because everything had a red sheen on it in this fucking game so far. Hammer? Garrett should be happy that I'm not picking up any of these power tools. Gotta beat him over the head with a fucking hammer. Walking by doors all menacingly and shit. Fuck you, Garrett. Alrighty. You can't use this here. Well, fuck you. Alright, what we got here? A yellow key. Alright. Now we're cooking with portals, I think. Ah, here we go. Green key. Give me that VHS tape. You got something for me, Garrett? Huh? Garrett. I'll suck or punch you right in your fart box. It was in this corner. Is it that one? Alright, so we found V... Can we go to any of the VCRs? Listen, you're not as cool as you think you are. Okay, so this side doesn't have anything in the vehicle, or in the vehicles, in the rooms. So we're gonna have to go to this side and find one of the rooms with a TV, I think. Hello. No? All right, let's go to the van then. Go fuck yourself. You following me, Garrett? Okay, girl on the window. Okay, Garrett, my boy. What up? Mass killer? All right, it's not Garrett. Eh, I could still be Garrett. Now I have to record any ghost sightings if I can. I have to explore every nook and cranny around the motel. The dead can never harm me, right? Oh shit. We've changed. We've changed. Alright. We're totally getting murdered by these ghosts. 
Hello, ghost, come out. I got a fun thing. All right, let's sprint it. Hi. Just a few more and I'm done in this bloody place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Shut up, Susan. Nobody loves you. Nice of you to come out, Susan, when uh, when the camera's on. I appreciate that. So freaking nice of you, Susan. With your little tickle fingers, whatever you were doing there. You look no different. I'm not gonna lie, Susan. You looked like a ghost when you were alive. Not because of, like, pasty skin, but because you had, like, either... Someone hit you in the head, or you had, like, the darkest mascara on, or, like, eyeliner I've ever seen. Which, if that's what you're into, that's fine. That's fine! A few more recordings and I'm out of here. Alright, Lisa's sleep pattern. Alright, don't know what that has to do with shit. She's tired, I guess. Lisa! Susan! Garrett. I will get all recordings because at this point I might as well. I'm just sprinting in and out of rooms at this point. Oh yeah, there's one there. Hello? Hello? I mean, these like ghosts can't hurt me, right? But these are clearly ghosts with an agenda, so... I mean, if they could hurt you, you know, these would be the ones. Your breaths do not bother me. I think they are hilarious, if I am to be blunt. Your screams do nothing. All I know is I'm going from room to room, making sure I don't miss any. You know? Make sure I don't miss any paranormal activity for your stupid... I don't know what this investigation is supposed... I don't know what this investigation is supposed to pull up. The proof of... of ghosts, or are you trying to catch a murderer? I'm actually unsure. I mean, I do like the found footage kind of recording aspect of it. You know, that doesn't involve battery management. That's always nice. Hey, hey, what's up, girl? What was that? A few more recordings and I'm out of here. All right. Susan's curtain. Well, we're running out of room. Rooms. We got upstairs. See, the reason you're not scaring me, not that I'm easily scared, but the reason you're not scaring me is because up to this point, there's no proof that you're ever going to actually attack me. You're just still pictures popping in and out. Which, you know, I mean, th there's people that get scared by that stuff, and that's cool. But I'm not, I don't have any, like, anticipation of, like, something. Maybe, maybe that, maybe Garrett will pop out at the end and kill me. Uh... But I don't know if it, I don't don't think it's gonna. Be, this game has not set up the, the, a chase sequence, right? Because everything has been kind of still pictures in the window or behind a bed or you know stuff like that. Hi. Lisa's the tour guide. Well. Don't know what she's doing, because that's the IE tour guide. Did I miss, like, one random room or something? I'm pretty sure I went into every room. Like, in order. When we find another room, I'll make sure we splice in. Not gonna show me going into every single room again. This is gonna take a lot of editing! Oh! 
Okay. What the? I have to stay calm and keep on recording. Okay. Angry Susan. Angry Susan's upset. There's that one. I could have swore I went in that room. Is this just random? Do I just run around in every room and, and hope things pop up? Susan. The Exorcist. Yahtzee! You the grandma from the visit? Huh? You know, you think the ghosts are there, but how do you know that the killer isn't real? Right? You think, oh, ghosts of people? How do you know the killer's not real? Unless there's proof that he died, and I just didn't read that one article. <laughs> because I didn't, because it was a goddamn book. So I've ran through every room like three times. This is very, um, this is very tedious. Um, it wouldn't be what I would suggest a company making a horror game to do, uh, to make it random and tedious. Because doing so, well, makes your game random and tedious. Um, and, and while the still pictures already have me at a meh standpoint, um, you could still could do yourself a little justice, you know, and not make the pop-ups random, right? We're on PlayStation. We're not on Steam. You don't have to pad your runtime to get to two hours. You know what I mean? What's up? Glad that I got that on tape. I need to record a few more. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. A few more. How many? How much? I guess I gotta run all the way into every bathroom. So here we go, guys. Hi. Is that enough? I will beat your ass. I will kick your ass. Susan? I just want to punch Susan in her stupid head. Not really. I don't want to. Looks like she's already been through enough. How many, how many exactly, how many pictures of ghosts do you need, sir? Like, you just captured, like, 12 pictures of ghosts, and you're like, I need more. Alright, bro. Hi. Is that enough? Make it enough, thank you. Holy God. Done, I've collected enough ghost footage for this horrid place. I got the platinum. Hi, Garrett. I am not sure if the world is ready to see the footage I've recorded here. I should release it anyway, just to respect the dead. The clearest, the clearest proof of as apparitions in the history of mankind. Um, that was Death Motel, a game that was very tedious. I, I think I ran into every room like 147 times. It felt like, um, not my favorite game in the world. It could have been much better. I think the setting could be cool, you know, an abandoned motel. And, and, and stuff like that, but it just didn't do it for me. Uh, I didn't really gel with pretty much anything. Um, in that last section, you had to basically run all the way into the bathroom and then come back out, and then something would pop up. If you don't run all the way into the bathroom and come back out, nothing pops up. It's really, it was really annoying, really tedious, and there's, there's potential in something like this, but... Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for this video. As the music picks up like it's Saw. Uh, menu music now, all of a sudden. There wasn't menu music when I first started. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!